My name is Robin B. Hill, and my research was on concepts Martin Yu noted in her literary work, Household Education. Uh, Martin Yu was all about feminism and education, and in this um, work, she um, highlighted on the importance of um, education that comes from the family and the home since the day um, the child is born and how critical that is. Um, she starts off by discussing um, bodily powers, which are um, powers that... Um, you know, the child requires such as food and air and all of that. But however, she follows up with um, powers of the mind, which she, like I said, discussed as crucial since the day the child is born. Um, these powers include a will, hope, fear, patience, love, veneration, truthfulness, and the conscience. Now, because of the time constraint of the presentation, we're only going to discuss um, two or three. Um, so she first talked about will and you know, she said that this showed up really early um, in the child and that you can see this um, pretty early on. And she um, discussed that um, nature pointed out the true method of controlling the will. And that's when um, a child wills what is right and innocent, allow them to indulge in this. However, when they will what is wrong, let the sleep and distract them with um, hope and affection. And this method will teach the child self-governance for the future. My contemporary example is that when an infant reaches for his or her, her toy, let him or her play with it. However, when an infant reaches for your phone, hide it and distract them with something they can have. This provides hope and will teach them self-governance. Um, the next one is hope. And Martin, you noted that some parents rightfully repress hope in their child to try to teach them humility. However, um, you should not do this because when you repress a child's hope, you are directing them to give up on their plans and aspirations. And Martin, you said that there's nothing more mournful than a hopeless child and that hope is supposed to be cherished without seizing. Um, my contemporary example of this is a strict parent who wants to teach their son the ultimate humility, constantly represses hope, telling him to be realistic about his dreams. Um, this obviously is um, more harmful and the son never truly embarks on his passion. Um, I don't think we have time to talk about fear, so my questions are, what literary work, um, what was the literary work published by Martin Yu called um, Bodily and Mind Powers, Household Education, Infancy's Teaching, How to Be a Good Parent 101? Um, the answers are on the next slide. So the next question is, which of the following is not a power of the mind discussed by Martin Yu? Love, fear, obedience, or will? And the answers are household education and obedience. And my last slide is my references.